Waiting for you. Watch this. Do y'all see that? Are we looking at the same thing right now? Do y'all see that? Oh my God. Hey guys, what's going on? Come on in, come on in, come on in. I got another compilation of very creepy, strange, and disturbing videos. Let's get into these videos and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But before we do so, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below, and let's get into it. On behalf of Amy, I'd like to um, thank the devil and all the dark lords who don't do the devil stuff. Gave her this award. Don't do the devil stuff. Allowed her to feast on the flesh of the yeah, innocent. Thanks, thanks, everybody. Whoa. I feel like that would have been a little bit weird knowing that you have so many people watching you and you making jokes like that. So was that really a joke? Or was that her having it up to here and just spilling it all out on stage? Yep, a code red warning for everyone's life has just been set. And if you have an iPhone, get away immediately. People were terrified after Daily Mail announced a new horrifying AI update within iOS 18 that will not only track and watch you, but your friends and family are in severe danger too, even if they don't have an iPhone with Apple stating that the new update will have a new Siri where it will use the front-facing camera to be able to track and analyze your eye movements to see what you're looking at and what you're thinking 24-7. And when using your phone to go places, Siri will know exactly where you are and why you're going there and who will be there, as it will even be able to read and analyze your every contact, every text message, and track you and your family. To even analyze every photo you take, so when you describe the photo to Siri, it will be able to recognize it, edit it, and even post and send it. With even one of the co-founders of OpenAI, Elon Musk, saying this could be such a violation of privacy <laughs> that he will not allow the phone even inside his company building. You guys, when are we going to stop acting like they don't already do this and like it's about to happen? Because we're going through this on a regular basis because I can't be the only one that has said something, spoke about something, or even thought about something. And the next thing you know, I see it in all the advertisements. I see it on social media. I see it on my TV. It's already happening. If they don't stop playing with us. Who wants to get a Slurpee in the same building where the Ouija board got its name? Located in Baltimore, Maryland, this building, which is now the current 7-Eleven, used to be a townhouse. And on one April night, 1890, the Ouija board was born. Now, according to the story, one night inside the building where the 7-Eleven currently sits, a group of individuals, including psychic medium Helen Peters, assembled to use the then nameless talking board. Now, during the session, when the question was asked, what should the board be called, it spelled out O-U-I-J-A. And when later asked, what does this word mean? All it said was, good luck. To make this even weirder, after all this happened, Helen no, took ma off her necklace and opened it up. I rebuked Inside that. was a picture of a woman with the word, Ouija. Right after that event, the name Ouija board was born. Now, inside the 7-Eleven, there actually is a plaque talking about this very event and the naming of the Ouija board that happened in this building. So walk inside, grab a drink, and visit the plaque. But when you leave, make sure you say goodbye. Hmm... I do not like that type of stuff, you guys. I do not. But, like, doesn't that sound like a girl name, though? Oh, my God. Please, nobody name their daughter that because it really does sound like a girl name. And with, with the way people got their names set up today, I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, would you guys go visit that place? Okay, it says pay attention to all the lights. And up on the ceiling, look at how it opens up and closes. What do you see? And then somebody's, well, I guess they said, um, is this a portal? I don't know. That is interesting. Okay. Okay. So to me, that looked like there was a lot of um, water in the air, like almost like a mist. And then you saw that light coming from the ceiling. So it looks like just kind of like water dancing in the air, just floating around with the light reflecting off of it. And then, you know, causing the rainbow and everything. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you believe in portals? Have you guys heard that thing about the night vision goggles? No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, explain no, this to this me. This is weird, dude. You know, night vision now, it's green. Yep. But in the Vietnam War, the night vision goggles that they were issued were red light, and like multiple people in the US military that were using them were seeing what they're reporting as flying demons. Ooh, stop. And so there's an instance <laughs> where they're they're flying these helicopters in Vietnam. It was a safe safe zone, no hostility. 
And then the gunner in the back just started do, 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 shooting. And the pilot's like, what are you shooting at? And all the hel- other helicopters are like, what? and they start shooting. They all saw the same thing? This guy, he was like panicked and he's like sweating and like, his, it looked like he was like yeah. seeing a demon. Yeah. And like, what are you shooting at? And he's like, the demon. And like this, apparently this giant winged whoa, whoa. demon creature was like flying at him. And oh. then people on the ground in the jungles that were using it, they were also seeing like these demonic looking, freaky looking creatures. And so the military banned those night vision goggles. What? And they replaced them with green light. Yeah, I do not like videos like this. Like, I don't know why these keep coming up. Get it off my screen. I don't like stuff like that. No, ma'am. No, sir. Interesting fact, though. I never heard about that before. Have you ever heard of a game called Werewolf? No. Everyone gets a piece of paper. It's either got Villager written on it, but two have the word Werewolf. Someone runs the game to make sure no one's cheating, and they go, okay, it's nighttime. Everyone close your eyes. Werewolves choose someone to kill, and the werewolves go... They say, okay, everyone close your eyes, it's morning time, open them again. During the night, Francis was killed. There's then a conversation, and this is where it gets interesting. Yeah, sorry to stop this, but these videos are getting so good. I'm excited. Between all the villagers and the two werewolves over who the werewolves are. Then at the end of the day, the, the villagers have to decide who they're going to kill. And they say, well, we're going to kill Constantine. <laughs> it's revealed by the person running the game, I'm afraid Constantine was a villager. And the game continues. Mm-hmm. The villagers win the game if they kill both werewolves. Mm-hmm. The werewolves win the game if they kill all but two villagers. And the werewolves usually win. The game was mm-hmm. invented by a student of sociology in Russia who wanted to prove his thesis that an uninformed majority will always lose a battle of information against an informed minority. So that wow. just shows when you have hidden information, you can completely manipulate a large group of people. Mm-hmm. Dang, you guys, I will, I will let you know, like you need to run this video back one more time because that is some good information. Does that not relate to the life that we are living today? So there are reports out of China now that scientists have found a cure for diabetes and the American pharmaceutical industry is not happy about it. There are now examples of Chinese patients receiving this experimental stem cell therapy and after about 11 weeks no longer requiring insulin. Which I imagine is something that sounds amazing to people with diabetes, no longer having to poke yourself. But it doesn't sound amazing to giant American pharmaceutical companies like Eli Lilly who currently dominate the insulin market and use it to make billions of dollars. Fact checked. True. This yeah. treatment involves transplanting pancreatic cells derived from the patient's own stem cells. The first successful case involved a 59 year old man who had been living with diabetes for over 25 years. After receiving the cell transplant in July of 2021, he became insulin independent within 11 weeks and stopped taking oral medication within one year. This breakthrough was published in the journal Cell Discovery on April 30th, 2024. This therapy uses autologous induced pluripotent stem cells to create pancreatic islet cells that produce insulin, effectively restoring the patient's pancreatic function and eliminating the need for external insulin. This could significantly improve the lives of diabetes patients, but that's tens of billions of dollars that's going into Big Pharma's pockets. Will they allow this or will they suppress it? Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, share, follow, and as always, stay healthy. Ooh, first of all, you guys, Yes, it's exciting that they are coming up with these new ways, which are not new ways, because as we know, Dr. Sebi and a lot of other people have discussed on how to make yourself more healthier as well as cure incurable disease. And we know how big pharma does what they do to keep everybody sick so they can keep more money and profit coming in instead of curing people. You know, I feel like they already know all these things. Right. But um, interesting to know that this is coming about out into the mainstream by another country and i wonder will the united states adapt it or will they shun it like they do everything else that does not profit them but either way this would be an amazing thing for people that need this type of treatment i'm just wondering how is the united states going to carry this fun fact at the base of the washington monument it's 55.5 feet wide which equals 666 inches it is 555 feet tall which equals 6,666 inches. Coincidence, huh? DC is really a crazy and amazing place. There is so much hidden information in the streets, in the statues, in the monuments. It's really an amazing place to really kind of go explore. And I feel like every single day we're uncovering more and more. Never recovered from finding out that the food pyramid was a scam. Yeah. The degree to which that's a scam, is there a worse medical crime in history than that? No, I mean, no. 
Telling it's, Americans to load up on 7 to 11 servings of grains every single day. Yeah. To find out that that was a marketing ploy by the Department of Agriculture and that they went against the advice even of their own consultants mm. who warned them that they would produce an epidemic of obesity and diabetes, which is, well, and not to say nothing of depression and dementia, which is exactly what we have now. Exactly. It's like, what do you even do when you find out that that's true? And the unwarranted demonization of natural fat-containing foods, nutrient-dense foods like animal source yeah. foods, which continue to be oh, de demonized. Even by the American Diabetic, is it Association Society? I don't remember yeah, the which idea, one yes. is still pushing the notion that diabetics can eat carbohydrates. It's like, actually, I don't think so. I don't think that's a very good idea since yeah. they're converted to sugar. Every single day, I'm so surprised with watching these videos and coming to the realization of all the BS that they had taught us, like the food pyramid. I mean, that is mind blowing. And us being so young and being little, we really just sat there and took in, took in that information. And as well as our parents, which I don't know what their excuse was. I guess we didn't have TikTok and things like that back then where they really couldn't look up this information. But I mean, it's shocking. It's shocking the difference between the knowledge that we had then and the knowledge that we have now. And I'm so happy that we get to educate ourselves and do better. So did you know that eels are the only animals in the world that we have no idea where they came from? Like the weird fish in the oceans, scientists have done like observations of them and eels during a specific time in the year, regardless of where they are, will literally all travel to the Bermuda Triangle. And that's where they link up no matter where they are from europe the freshwater rivers of the united states when it's time to mate they just all go to the bermuda triangle and it's dangerous for scientists to study them so it's a bit hard so we don't really know where they originate from uh, and the females and males have no reproductive organs so like how do they reproduce also they did a test where they put the eels inside a bucket then when it was time to mate, they all swam in the direction of the Bermuda Triangle. You know how people like have speculated like octopuses being aliens, right? People think eels also might not be from here. And then the theory goes on to claim that there was a meteor that crashed in the Bermuda Triangle and allegedly crashed 65 million years ago, coincidentally, when the dinosaurs were gone. Pay attention new. and listen because the ancient artifact was found in Brazil. Look. A couple of weeks ago, treasure hunter John Ventura was deep in the woods somewhere in Brazil when all of a sudden they came across this mysterious rock. While metal detecting somewhere in the woods in Brazil, they came across this box made of gold, and inside of it was this rock. Whatever this thing is, it seems to change color and temperature when someone touches it. In this particular part of the video, we can see it heating up the water. And when they put it back into the box, it gets colder and you can clearly see it changing its color. Up until now, there's not much information on what this mysterious rock could be, but I'm guessing that this is most likely some sort of ancient artifact. I don't know if I believe that video or not. Tell me if you guys have any ideas of what that could possibly be, other than it really, really does resemble a citrine crystal. First of all, had to remove a pre-existing structure, and it was well known in the archaeological community that beneath that building there was likely to be some kind of archaeological material. How much, we didn't know until that building was removed it very quickly became clear that the depth and the, the, the horizontal extent and the significance of the archaeological site there was, was more. To put that in, in context, this site is older than the pyramids in Egypt. The site is older or as old as some of the very first cities ever built in Mesopotamia, and yet very little is known. 
So that was going on in Miami. And like I always tell people, like my favorite phrase, things are not what they appear. And it really looks like to me that we really don't know what America is. We don't know what the United States is really, really, really built. What if they came over here really looking for something else? The truth about how much inflation really happened. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I just like looked through my Walmart history and I found this like um, Walmart order from two years ago for the whole month worth of groceries. 45 items cost $126. A whole month of groceries just for me, basically. But I did notice this reorder all button, and I wanted to see how Ooh, much it would cost now. Oh, that's crazy. Now, this no. order of 45 items for one month would have cost $414. That is four times more. How the fuck? How? <laughs> like, I feel like I was so shocked during that video, but at the same time, come on now, we all are seeing the inflation, and it's it's really like that. It's really really like that. So I'm not shocked, you know. But I definitely want to do that because I have been ordering for a couple years from Walmart and like picking the groceries up or you know around the back or whatever. And I need to go look at my order list and see how much they cost now. Zoom for you. Watch this. No, no. What? Yeah. No. We're not accepting this one. No. Do y'all see that? Are we looking at the same thing right now? Do y'all see that? Oh my God. No. No, I'm sorry. This, this is where we cut the line. We, that's where we draw the line. Look, I mean, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? We're gonna draw the line at Mandela effects right there because Michael there's no way. Michael Jackson, only biological son, mother, Helga from Norway, Oslo. She came, she's in a bed, but I didn't know what's going on. She wrapped up during the winter, so I gave her the compound. Four days later, I come Michael. Say B, say B, say B. Helga is walking. Helga is walking. My wife look at me and super sure with Michael. I don't know. Helga is walking. So, that's something normal. He said, no. She wasn't walking for five years. She came in a wheelchair from Norway. And then Helga came and hugged me with tears coming down my shoulders. That's amazing. Amazing. And real quick, by the way, for the previous video that we just saw, where they showed the JFK Mandela effect where he was in the car, it showed three rows when we clearly remember only two rows being in that car. Do you remember it being two rows or three rows? And if you have anybody around you, let me know their opinion as well. Let me know down in the comments, please. We have to figure this out. There's no way. Um, um, kind of, it was kind of, um, I think so. The it's, it's, visit it's a cousin to of the same his of, Encino you know, house in my behalf. I remember sitting down at the time, my, you know, my and favorite at home on the computer video game. And they just, my favorite doing video all game was crazy pole stuff. Position. And that's and destroying our world. Position. The limitation um, of my own imagination. Kind of, um, I just the feel visit there's so much more. I don't think House I've ever done a project where I was told. Oh, did y'all hear? You guys, so yet. Yeah. That's very interesting and it's very similar. But let me, if you run that video one more time, run it back. The most thing that stands out to me is the eyebrow line. That eyebrow line is unmistakable. Both of them have the exact same one. Hear about the cave that they found in Vietnam. It's called the Sung Doom Cave. They found it and um, villagers were talking about how they seen this creature called the Seraphim that walked into the um, into this cave, right? So the scientists, they went down there to go explore the cave. And I'm gonna talk about the seraphim later on. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. So when they went into this cave, right, they were able to recognize that this cave was three million years old. 
not only the cave was three million years old, it had its own ancient forest in the cave. It's one of the biggest caves they ever seen, about 40 feet. Now, when they was exploring the cave, they also found water. They didn't find a puddle, they didn't find a stream. They found a damn river. Do you know how big a river is to be able to fit in a cave? So when they found this river, right, they started exploring, seeing what it was, checking it out. They realized that the, the, ra the reason why the forest is like this is because of the sunlight coming in. Not only that, the creatures living in is a reptilian with wings living in those caves. Okay, that's super crazy because didn't we just watch a video about the night vision goggles being green and then they changed it over to red or whatever the opposite way? I'm not sure what it is, but how they said they saw like winged demons. What if that was the same thing? Watch Stephen A. Smith's eyes, everybody. You saw it. Everybody just saw it right there. I'm going to rewind it back again. Look at that. Everybody see it. His eyes disappeared. His another set of eyes came in. I went. The exact same thing happened to that one lady reporter where she did the same thing and it's like she blinked and I thought her eyes stayed closed but it's like you could see another set of eyes. To Angkor Wat, the largest temple complex in the world located in Cambodia. Now look at that moat. This moat which goes around Angkor Wat, more mass of mud removed to create that moat around Angkor Wat than the Great Pyramid okay. by multitudes. The moat isn't natural? No. It's man-made. With what? Shovels? <laughs> <laughs> it would just be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. So you don't start a project like this until you already know it's going to work. You're talking about calculus, geology, excavation techniques. This is how many years ago? We're talking about something, in my opinion, super ancient. This thing could be 20, 30,000 years old. thing is littered with hieroglyphs. Is there any cool what? stuff in the hieroglyphs? Well, there you go right there, the dinosaur. The what? See that? Oh, yeah. shit. Hey guys, you see the, the video on the gray goo? It happened already. We're living it. All right. The old world is gone. What you've been reading about in those texts, it was destroyed. All right. In 2012, they uprooted CERN and put you in a bubble. Yeah, you on the dark side of the boat. True earth is all water. That's why your laws are laws of the sea. They're giving you Atlantis laws and you on land. All right, the docking papers, your birth certificate, is all dealing with the seas. True earth is a water world. That's why they gave you um, what they call that movie with the Aquaman. This is a good one to remember the next day you're in the shop and you're buying fruit. I'm sure you've noticed that a lot of fruit, no matter what it is, apples or bananas, they've got a little small sticker on them. And on the sticker, there'll be numbers. If it's a four digit number, that means that that fruit has been conventionally grown and mm. more than likely with the use of harsh chemicals like pesticides. If there is a five digit number and the first digit is an eight, that means that it is genetically modified and it will also more than likely have been grown with the use of harsh chemicals. Mm. If there's a five digit number and the first digit's a nine, that means that that fruit has been grown organically and it shouldn't have any of those nasty or harmful chemicals on them. Let's review that, you guys. So if you are at the store, make sure you're not buying anything other than if it has a nine digit, I mean a five digit number and it has a nine at the beginning. That's all you can get. Everything else is eat at your own risk. You guys have no idea how powerful this book is and everything that's in it. The Postal Service. This shit is so fucking mm -hmm. powerful. You guys do know that the post office is a bank, right? I did not know that. And the uh, United Postal Service is a totally different thing. It's two separate things in one building. Did y'all know that? You know, the postmaster is more of a sheriff than a sheriff. This talks about mm -hmm. jurisdiction. 
talks about negotiable instruments, how you could pay certain things with stamps instead of using fiat cash. I don't know about that. It talks about a lot of fucking different things. This is the playbook. I kid you not. Guys, I don't know how sure or how true that stuff is, but you really have to do a fact check. Be very aware and be very careful. Please do your research. The internet is 90% a lie. Maybe 99% a lie. So just double check. And yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I believe that video. These animals are immortal. Did you know, for example, that some animals don't die? Crocodiles, alligators, flounders, they just keep getting larger. They don't die at all. They're just as vigorous at 70 as they are at five. Um, so how come your textbook says that the crocodiles die at age 70? That's because the zookeeper died at age 70, okay? <laughs> crocodiles just keep on going. They have no known finite lifespan. They simply get bigger. So in the animal kingdom, you know, it's not necessary to die or age. They just keep getting bigger. That's why you don't see gigantic crocodiles is because they, they die of starvation, accidents, or disease, but they have mm -hmm. no finite lifespan. Interesting. I'm telling y'all, y'all better find God in this 2024 because what I'm hearing on this radio, I don't listen to music. I listen to IP radio or informational radio. Check out what T-Mobile is doing. This year, T-Mobile have rolled out a tier bracket that can penalize you based off your text, bro. So T-Mobile is looking into your phone and penalizing you if you're sending hate speech texts, profanity, or criminal activity. Yes, it's true. Go look it up. Go Google it. If you have T-Mobile as a phone provider, they are looking at every text message you send and you will be charged a penalty. If you're sending hate speech, text messages, or emails, or profanity, or criminal activity, which is understandable. I mean, you're going to catch the criminals. But profanity? <laughs> but first of all, just wait a minute. They're looking into my text message? Every single one of them? Y'all better find God. This shit is going to hit the fan. I feel like you shouldn't be doing none of that stuff in your phone anyways. But at the same time, like, damn. That this has actually already been going on. You know, like, once they tell us they're about to do something, remember, they're always 10 steps ahead. So they're most likely already been doing this. Injected billions of people with an experimental... It wasn't a bloody... Mm. Just, no, it wasn't. It was. it was. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's what, not... because it have a 100% success rate? You think it's a definition of... All point of... is to give your body a protein it's to train on so the immune system technology. works. Technology. Who cares if it's not the same? There's plenty of... There's they different types the word of so that they didn't have to contend with the fact that it wasn't the same technology. There are different types of there certainly that are, are, that are different technologies. Fine. The mRNA is a type this of used vaccine to be Now this is vaccines. No, it was like this and now it's like this. No, no, no. It was like this and now it's like this. The MNR mRNA technology was a radical qualitative leap forward in technology. You can call it a if you want to, but it bears very little resemblance to any that went before that. And the reason it was called a vaccine was because vaccine was a brand name that had a track record of safety and shoehorning it in that was one of the ways to make sure that people weren't terrified of the technology. They used the name vaccine as bait and you guys know for the people that got it, man, they got it. But for the people that didn't, I'm not going to say too much, but you know what I mean? And they are actually just, I'm not saying they're just now saying it, but I just recently read and heard about that they actually put proteins of HIV into um, the vax, you know? Now, I don't even know if that's true or not, but to hear that is shocking, you know? Like I said, double check everything, fact check everything, but this is how passionate people are when they know and they can feel it in their soul and in their gut that something is wrong. Even without having the knowledge of what exactly is in it, we already just know something is up. One thing for sure and two things for certain. When they need to implement something by the millions, they are going to make sure that you have to purchase it. They're going to put a price tag on it. If something is free, such as a VAC, it's going to be very suspicious to me. And it should always stand out to you guys. If something is free, it needs to be flagged and you need to look into it. Girl, I think you shocked yourself more than you shocked us. But let's keep it going. That is the end of the compilation. Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys like, share, and subscribe. And I am out. I will catch you on the next one.